Hello, and welcome to this important update for TVET lecturers. I'm Lindsay Cohen from Macmillan, and I have in my hand the TVET First Electrical Trade Theory N2 Students' Book and Lecturer's Guide. These have been recommended by the DHET for implementation in 2021. Here are some important changes you need to know about. This curriculum has been reorganized into 11 modules instead of nine. There are new modules on AC theory, electrical reticulation, batteries, and renewable energy. Electronics is no longer part of the curriculum. Module one, alternating current circuit theory, is also new in N2. This includes theory and calculations on dynamically induced EMF, statically induced EMF, and self and mutually induced EMF. TVET First uses examples and experiments to explain how each type of EMF is induced. Electrical reticulation is a new section on its own in N2 with more detail than previously. TVET First demonstrates the complete reticulation network as well as the different types of feeders and this content is new to N2. Diagrams and advantages and disadvantages are clearly explained. Another section new to N2 covers batteries. Parts of the section were covered in the previous N1 curriculum, but there is new content on gel batteries and lithium ion batteries. TVET First Electrical Trade Theory uses diagrams and photographs to explain the construction, operation, care and maintenance of batteries. The curriculum introduces a new module on renewable energy. And TVET First has an easy to follow approach, explaining how various renewable resources are used to create electricity. The section includes definition boxes and language support for new terminology. The book provides illustrations of the layout of typical power plants that use renewable energy sources. The author of TVET First Electrical Trade Theory is the well-known Sunil Chattagun. He is an experienced lecturer and national examiner and has designed worked examples to assist students with potential stumbling blocks. Have a look at the worked examples on three-phase loads and the step-by-step -step procedure and worked example for solving on three-phase transformer problems. Examples have been chosen carefully to demonstrate the use of measuring instruments, such as how to extend the range of a galvanometer, as well as the symbols shown on the screen of a typical digital multimeter for the different functions. The student's book includes short answers to all activities to help students check their own work. Every module ends with summaries and summative assessments, which are modeled on exam type questions. The lecturer's guide includes marking guidelines for all activities, and this saves lecturers time, and the guidelines are also a useful tool in giving students detailed feedback. Choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.